In this week's episode, I discuss Google Plus Collections, give you an update on last week's episode on life changes, and give you the top five most interesting places in Oklahoma that I've actually been to. All that, and you get to hear my neighbor mowing his lawn. All this and more on this episode. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. As many of you know, I'm a big fan of Google+. Of all the social networks, it is by far my favorite. I even like the new design and direction they're currently working toward. Now, one of the features that Google+, introduced not long ago, is called Collections. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Collections are a way to organize and share specific things with your audience, or even keep things organized for yourself. Let's say you're going to have a series of posts about, oh, let me pick a random thing, coffee mugs. You write a post about coffee mugs, you share pictures of coffee mugs, and you share links to interesting articles about coffee mugs. Now, at the same time you're posting about coffee mugs, you're also posting all the regular things you would usually post to a social media. Things like, I don't know, random cat pictures, family updates, and almost interesting news articles. You know, that kind of stuff. Now, if you're like me, all of this was getting posted to your public feed, meaning everyone can see it. Everyone that follows you can see everything you've posted. Great. That's what it's for. <laughs> but the deal is, all of those interesting things you've posted about coffee mugs are now buried within your public feed. Now, that's where collections come in handy. You can create a new collection called Coffee Mugs and start posting all of those interesting things about coffee mugs into it. Now this collection is still almost part of your public feed, so everybody can still see it, but you can also mark that collection private, so only specific people can see it. But let's just pretend it's public for now. So not only will that collection help you find the stuff you've posted about coffee mugs, but it'll let other people find that information too. On Google+, even though you still can, you no longer have to follow an individual. Instead, you follow your interests. Let's say you're very interested in coffee mugs, but you're not interested in random cat pictures. First off, what's wrong with you? Everyone loves random cat pictures. Secondly, if you find someone interesting who posts a lot about coffee mugs, and they also post a lot of random cat pictures, but they've put all of those coffee mug posts in a collection. You don't have to follow everything they do. You can just follow their coffee mug collection. So you won't see those random cat pictures in your newsfeed. The closest service to doing the same thing in regard to collections would be Pinterest. Pinterest is a great service, so don't get me wrong on anything here. I have numerous boards with all sorts of interesting things pinned. But I can't just post text about something. Pinterest was designed as a bookmarking service. It might have grown a little bit beyond that, but it doesn't have the same kind of social connections as, let's say, Google+, in my opinion. All of Google+, is being organized in a way for you to share and find what you're interested in and to connect with people that share that interest. Collections are one of the great things about Google+, and I would encourage you to check them out. And please, feel free to look at all the collections we have on our Google+, page. I'm sure you'll find something that interests you in there. That's at Plus Blog Oklahoma. I'll have a link to it and more in our show notes at blogoklahoma.net. The Top 5 Interesting Places in Oklahoma That I've Actually Been To Number 5. Gloss Mountain State Park, northwest of Fairview, Oklahoma. Number 4. Alabaster Caverns, south of Freedom, Oklahoma. Number 3. 
Holy City of the Wichitas, northwest of Lawton, Oklahoma. Number two, Plains Indians and Pioneers Museum in Woodward, Oklahoma. And the number one most interesting place that I've actually been to in Oklahoma is the Chickasha National Recreation Area in Sulphur, Oklahoma. I'll have links to all of these interesting Oklahoma places in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. Following up on last week's episode on life changes, I've set up a few short-term goals while I get started with the new exercise program. Since the last episode, I've met with my doctor for a checkup, and she suggested I started exercising by walking, and I've done just that. The first short-term goal is to do a 15-minute mile around the neighborhood. So far, I've gotten close to a mile in 18 minutes. The last walk, I used the RunKeeper app on my phone to track my distance and pace, and I did 0.92 miles. I think I'll be able to reach my goal by extending my walk a block every time until I find that mile. The next medium-level goals are to get to the point where I can jog an 8-minute mile, and to lose 5 pounds. My current weight is at 223, so the next time we meet, we'll see how far I've gotten. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? Of course you did. I told you last week. Oh, sorry, you're new here. (laughs) Hey, we have our own cafe press store. There you could purchase a t-shirt, a coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on it. So please just head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. There is now well over seven hours of music for you to enjoy. So you could listen to the playlist at Spotify and on YouTube. I'll have links to them and more in the show notes at blog Oklahoma dot net. Oh, a quick programming update. There won't be an episode next week. That's the week of April 7th. I've got something going on that I need to attend to, but I will be back the following week, uh, the week of April 10th, with an all-new episode, so I'll see you then. And also, I want to thank each and every one of you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. It means a lot to me. I'm happy to announce, as of March 27th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 901 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.